Hi guys. Basecamp and Monday are two of the most popular project management tools today, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Basecamp and Monday, and we'll consider 10 criteria to see how these two tools stack up. We'll leave the link in the description and you can use it. You can start with a free version, and if you like it more, you can upgrade risk-free. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the project views, Basecamp lacks visual project views like Kanban boards or Gantt charts, and its to-do lists are presented in a basic list view. However, the company recently introduced a new project view called Lineup, which visually displays tasks. Monday.com offers various views, including Kanban boards, timeline views, calendar view, chart view, and map view, which provide users with different perspectives. Additionally, Monday.com has a workload view that lets users see which team member is over capacity. And for the templates, Monday.com offers a wide range of customizable templates for different use cases, such as campaign planning, custom onboarding, event planning, and more. Users can use the pre-made templates as they are or customize them to fit their workflow. They can even transform their favorite boards into templates in just a few clicks. Basecamp lacks pre-made templates, but users can create custom project templates from scratch and start new projects using the templates they've created. And for the reporting, Monday.com offers basic and advanced reporting capabilities depending on the subscription level. With a basic reporting functionality, users get access to dashboards that allow them to display critical information in one place. Reports can be easily created using data from one or several boards. There are 15 widgets available to track project progress, budget spending, estimate team workload, and more. On the other hand, Basecamp's reporting feature is more basic than Monday.com's. Users can view basic data like overdue tasks, task assignments, upcoming tasks, and more. The calendar feature shows all events, milestones, and to-dos in one view. It also provides information on employee workload to avoid overworking them. While both tools have reporting capabilities, Monday.com's are more advanced. If your reporting needs are more basic, then Basecamp may be a better option. And for the task management, Monday.com has an abundance of task management features such as board views, dashboards, time tracking, and automation. The software makes it very easy to set up tasks and subtasks. You can add assignees with custom fields, permissions, due dates, and checklists. Additionally, Monday.com has task dependency tools that Basecamp lacks. In contrast, Basecamp has a to-do list inside each project and team space. Users can create task lists, assign tasks to team members, add due dates, descriptions, attachments, and more. Tasks can be assigned to multiple users, and they can even be made recurring. While both tools have task management features, Monday.com's toolkit is more robust, while Basecamp has more collaboration and communication features. And for the pricing? Basecamp's pricing plans range from $99 a month to $199 a month, with an unlimited plan for larger teams. However, Basecamp's pricing may not be suitable for small businesses with a few employees. You can choose to play annually to save 10%. Monday.com has three paid plans, ranging from $8 to $16 per user per month, with a minimum of three users, and an enterprise plan with a custom quote. Keep in mind that the platforms offer discounts for plans billed annually. Prices are higher if you pay monthly. For the documents and file storage, Monday.com's file storage is based on subscription plans. With a free plan, you get 500 megabytes of storage space, while the basic plan provides 5 gigabytes. The standard plan is more generous, offering 20 gigabytes of storage, and the pro plan goes up to 100 gigabytes. That's not all, though. Monday.com recently introduced WorkDocs, a new feature that lets you create and collaborate on docs with your team members within the software. You can embed boards, dashboards, videos, and even turn things in the docs into actionable tasks. Basecamp, on the other hand, provides a dedicated space for file sharing in every project and team. The free plan comes with one gigabyte of storage space, 
while the paid plan offers a whopping 500 gigabytes. You can import files from your device or link to files in various other software, such as Airtable, Dropbox, Figma, Adobe Creative Cloud, Notion and more. And if you need to take notes during meetings, you can create docs in real time and easily export them to Microsoft Excel. So which one should you choose? It all comes down to your priorities. If you require more storage space, then Basecamp might be the better option for you. However, if you need more robust document management features, then Monday.com's WorkDocs might be the way to go. And for the integrations, both tools offer integrations with Basecamp's integrations feature called Doors, which integrates with over 70 third-party tools. Using Zapier, users can connect Basecamp with more than 4,000 apps, but you must pay to use Zapier. Meanwhile, Monday.com provides a wealth of integration options, including Dropbox, Slack, Google Calendar, and Gmail. Monday.com also has an API built with GraphQL to provide developers with more flexibility. And for the mobile apps, both tools offer mobile versions for managing work on the go. However, the mobile apps are suitable for managing simpler tasks and cannot replace the desktop or web apps for more complex activities. Both solutions have Android and iOS apps that are user-friendly and convenient. And for the time tracking, Monday.com offers a built-in time tracking feature available with the Pro Plan and higher. Team members can track how much time they spend working on tasks and managers can get a time report for individuals or the whole team to see the total amount of time spent on tasks. They can even receive a notification when a person or a group reaches a certain number of hours. Basecamp, on the other hand, does not have a native time tracking feature, but users can add this functionality via add-ons like Toggle or EverHour. And for communication, Basecamp comes with several built-in communication features that support remote teams such as the message board, campfire, and pings. On the other hand, Monday.com's communication and collaboration tools include a shared whiteboard feature where users can brainstorm ideas together. Users can also collaborate on shared docs directly from within the software, and there are advanced account permissions. While there's no built-in chat option in Monday.com, people can comment on tasks. Both tools offer client access, which allows external users to view projects and tasks, eliminating the need for long meetings and email chains. In this category, Basecamp wins, as it offers a range of communication features and automatic check-in options, allowing managers to create custom questions for team members to answer in their own time. So choosing between Basecamp and Monday depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution it will depend on your current needs. If you're still not sure which to pick, here's my recommendation. Monday.com stands out with advanced features like time tracking, customizable project views, and automated workflows. Meanwhile, Basecamp has top-notch communication tools, intuitive usability, and outstanding customer support. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button, that helps too. And goodbye for now.